Hello everyone, Kurt Benner here, and thank you for clicking on this video. And remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be traveling to northern Manitoba in early June, just after ice out, to fish for northern pike and walleye. The weather, as always, will be extremely unpredictable. So if this is one of your first trips to northern Canada, this video will help you pack the right gear. Now I'll be traveling to a fly-in lodge. That means that the only way to get to your de destination is by a float plane. And as a result, most of the lodges will have a strict, mandatory 50-pound weight limit on all your gear. Now I pack around 12 to 15 pounds of tackle and lures, so that will leave me about 35 pounds to pack for four to five days of fishing in literally all kinds of weather. Now you want to pack everything into a soft duffel bag. The hard suitcases weigh too much, they're bulky, and they just don't travel well. And duffel bags only weigh about a pound to a pound and a half. So aside from your basic toiletries, underwear, and a sweatshirt, here are the absolute essentials that you will need to pack for your trip. A rain suit. This is the most important thing that you can pack. Make sure that it is completely waterproof. At times, the rain can be sideways. And as a result, I always have 100% Gore-Tex bibs and jacket, and also some neoprene gloves to help me get through those major storms. You also want a pair of long nylon undergarments, shirts and pants. These will keep you warm if a cold front moves through and literally are almost weightless. You can see how light they are. They, they don't look like they'll keep you warm, but they keep you very warm. Fishing shirts and pants. With shirts, you can go traditional or modern. The traditional shirt should be made with sun protection fabric and have plenty of pockets and get uh, also the long sleeve so you can roll them up if the weather turns warm. The more modern long sleeve t-shirt is great if you don't need the pockets. They're made with sun protection fabric and are extremely lightweight. Hook, for example, makes a great lightweight fishing shirt. The pants should be of the zip-off variety and that means that when the day warms up you can just zip off the legs and then you'll have yourself a pair of shorts. You also want to make sure that you pack a gaiter. A gaiter will help protect your neck and face from both sun and wind. Suntan lotion, bug spray. Suntan lotion will help you as the sun reflects off the lake and the bug spray you'll definitely need. Uh, there's always some type of a bug hatch going on, mostly flies and mosquitoes, so you want to make sure that you bring that with you. Dry bag. A dry bag is essential, but don't make it too small or too large. I have a medium sized bag that just holds all my gear on the boat, uh, rain suit, cell phone, camera, uh, hoodie, and we'll keep it nice and dry on the boat. Lastly, you want a pair of polarized sunglasses. Probably next to the rain suit, the most important thing that you can bring. I always bring at least two to three pairs of different colored lenses, and Maui Jim makes a great one. This happens to be a bronze lens. Costa also makes a fantastic pair of sunglasses. This happens to be a green lens. So these are just some of the most important items that you might not think are important, but are vitally necessary uh, for you to pack. You can think some of the other items, beanies, uh, things such as that, but uh, make sure that you get those items packed that I talked about. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you click on subscribe, and I will give you my annual review of the best and worst lures for catching northern pike and walleye when I return in mid-June. Enjoy your adventure and tight lines everyone.